Hey everyone, it's Mike. Today we're going to talk about the fill warmer. What the fill warmer does is that it anneals the material as it comes off the spool and it makes it flexible again. As you know, we sell an extremely high metal content filament that can be brittle depending on the material, temperatures, conditions, that type of stuff. The fill warmer eliminates that issue. Number one thing to be aware of is that some of our materials do not use the fill warmer. So please make sure you check the instructions. The other thing is to make sure to follow the instructions that come with the fill warmer itself. Improperly installed fill warmers are probably the number one issue that I get um, when it comes to customer service type things. So today we'll talk about how to properly install them. Go ahead and hang the actual heating element itself inside of the spool. Um, what I'll commonly get is that the heating element will be down here, it'll be on top of the extruder, it'll be all sorts of places that you don't want it. What you want to do is that as the material comes off the spool, it's in, it has that spooled memory. So we, what we want to do is that before it has an opportunity to, to remove itself from that spooled shape, you want it to go directly into the warmer. So you don't want the material to straighten out. You want it to go directly into the warmer. After it comes out of the warmer, it'll feed through the, the heating element, and then you want it to have a direct, straight, as, as straight of a possible line to the extrusion head it's, itself. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is that this is not our typical setup. This is just what I'm using for the purpose of this video. If you're looking really close, you'll see that we're trying to feed 2.85 material into a 1.75 machine. Obviously not going to work. Secondly, people have spools generally a little bit higher in order to give the material a little bit more flexibility as it feeds into the extruder itself. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to let us know. Otherwise, you can reach me with our contact information below. Thank you.